shoulders off. Going on in today's 411, as we all know, 50 Cent and his son's mother, Shaniqua Tompkins, have been going at each other's throats for years with allegations of abuse, neglect, gold digging, and most recently, the rumored circumstances that 50 missed his son Marquise's high school graduation. While some reports claim that 50 chose not to show up to his son's ceremony, others have suggested that he was barred from attending by Shaniqua's family. How do you get barred from graduation? And I thought you could buy graduation tickets early anyway. You're 50 Cent. And all the way in New Orleans, the Lower Ninth Ward Village have started their Kickstarter campaign campaign to save the community center and skate park that was abandoned by Lil Wayne. And since now facing foreclosure, the campaign is hoping to collect $75,000 by May 27th. And as of press time, 342 backers have contributed $20,589. You can watch the Lower Ninth Ward Village's Kickstarter campaign on Foxy99.com. Young Jeezy, on the other hand, has settled a lawsuit that was filed by the Hells Angels over the Deadhead logo by compensating the Angels. The settlement amount was not announced, but both sides are apparently pleased, and the Hells Angels claim that they always get what they want. Let's take the 411 all the way to France real quick. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were denied permission to marry at the Palace of Versailles due to the couple not being considered distinguished enough for an official ceremony and celebration. They're still set to marry this Saturday, May 24th. And speaking of Kanye West, you know his Nike Air Yeezys were among the most sought after sneakers since the first pair was released back in 2009. But check out this video of a fan dating Kanye West to autograph his Air Yeezy sneakers. These are not real though. You know that, right? Chinese. Are you serious? These are not real. It's fine though. Share the man. Damn, broke my heart. You heard Kanye correctly. The fans Air Yeezys were a fake. Kanye still signed them anyway, though. And last but certainly not least, I don't know how much truth there is to this or if uh, Jocelyn Hernandez from Love & Hip Hop's account on Twitter had been hacked. But since early this morning, recent pics went up that suggested that there may have been some truth to this. She had tweeted, why does he bruise me up? Stevie, stop. And that uh, Stevie beats her up, but nobody understands her. Her friend Mona told her to hide it because Stevie knew she was having sex with the weed man. And she said she wasn't being hacked. And she wanted the truth to come out. And that she has demons in her that needs to be released. And that she hates herself even though she keeps saying that she's the baddest. For these stories and more, check us out at Foxy99.com.